Hello indie game fans, just two more days left in the Steam Next Festival, so go try out all those demos that you want to play. I have a bunch of side-scrolling platformers, again spread across a number of genres, so see what's of interest to you. Let's begin with Beku, a great looking pixel art action platformer where you play as a warrior undergoing the king's trials in hopes of becoming his chosen champion. The design of the enemies and giant fantasy monsters is one of the highlights, which combined with fast paced action and a variety of playable characters does make it appealing to me. However, in what may be viewed as a cop-out, the entire thing is explained as the creation of the king's sorcery. So essentially, the it was all a dream explanation, and add to that some rough phrasing on their Steam store page and their official website gives me some pause on this. There have been a number of frustration platformers, or the so-called Rage games, where Happen Lens is the next title in the space, of course looking similar to getting over it with Bennett Fuddy, only you play as a knight with a spear instead of a man with a hammer. However, the developers do talk about impaling enemies, the ability to move like a normal platformer, and to use the spear as a pole vault, which I hope means some different physics to contend with. Additionally, it does even have enemies like archers that shoot at you, making it even more evil, adding to the challenge. T-Bat Episode 1 is a stylish retro 2D action platformer with an interconnected map, having a great look but I need more details. Another quick hit is Run The World In Between, a precision platformer with procedurally generated levels where you're constantly being chased by a shadow in the style of Celeste which adds to the tension. A decent looking action platformer RPG is Estelibra Revision, coming to us from I believe a Japanese developer, where a hero must fight his way through a bunch of enemies, slaying bosses, getting stronger and finding his way home. Glimpses of the various currencies, XP, equipment, inventory, skill and spell systems can be seen from this short trailer, which makes this a curiosity. Welcome to a new kind of hell with Brad and Fred, a co-op frustration platformer with a deceptively cute pixel art aesthetic. If you thought that getting over it was bad enough solo, how about the pure chaos and finger pointing when two people are involved, definitely not recommended to play with a loved one. First off, I love the look of Planet Q Itch, a 2D run and gun platformer with some amazing pixel art and an intentionally limited color palette, of course invoking the original Game Boy, but if you actually go back to look up videos of that handheld, you will be surprised to see the difference. While the character design is rather simple in that you are just a cube, there's something about the way that it animates that gives it life, where you play as an engineer in an underwater weapons facility having to fend off invaders. Mm -hmm. 
I love the action as well, making this one to watch. Let's kick off the top 3 with Grapple Dog, a speedrunning focused platformer which, as the name proposes, requires you to master the grappling hook in order to get the best time for the level. I've seen many GIFs of this game in action, where the grappling looks very good, making it one of my most anticipated platformers to look forward to with a new demo to check out for this festival. I'm also very excited for Bat Boy, the next title from developer X Plus and Sonzai Games, makers of the Act Razor like Smelter and the 3D platformer Super Semi Roll, respectively, both hidden gems of the year which are worth a play. This next title, however, is a side scrolling 2D action platformer with a look that certainly reminds me of Shovel Knight, only where you play as a super powered high school baseball player fighting off an interdimensional mage. The bosses in each area are the brainwashed versions of other sports stars from your high school, where you're able to use their powers when you defeat them, of course, being like Mega Man in structure, but with a melee twist and a fantastic look. A great looking action platformer is Gastova The Witches of Arcana, a game that was initially scheduled to be released earlier this year, in April I believe, but it got delayed and is back with a new trailer and some updated visuals. Its closest comparison would be Mega Man as well, where you play as the titular character, having to traverse the 8 different levels and to defeat 8 witches who were your former classmates. Doing so will grant our heroine their blessing, being able to utilize their power, all in a bit to become the guardian witch of the world and to defeat a sinister foe lurking in the shadows. Needless to say, it has a fantastic pixel art look which I love, where this trailer with the fully voiced song certainly reminds me of Shantae as well. Hopefully we will get to play this soon since for how great this looks, it takes the number one spot. For more action platformers, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump. Shoot, never. Come on, let's go and travel the world, fight all the monsters we can find. 